Hey folks, Todd from Great Escape Farms here. Today I am picking apples. They're calling for rain tomorrow and I plan on doing some stuff inside tomorrow. So I'm gonna get the apples today and just store them overnight. So this tree, as you can see, is missing a bunch of leaves and that's because one the variety of tree it is and also because we had severe drought and we don't water here. We kind of let things fend for themselves. I do have some trees, same treatment and they have plenty of leaves on them. So don't, it's gotta be just the different types of trees. Anyhow, right, let me get back to what I'm doing here. So I am using this fancy little tool right here to reach high up into the trees. That is, uh, let me figure out how big a pole it is. That is a 10 foot pole. So I can reach, let's say, I don't know, 15 feet up in the air it could be because of the 10 foot pole and my six feet of height and what I can reach. So I am using this thing to snag the apples and grab them. The waste apples that are too small or rotten go here. And the ones that I will be processing tomorrow are right here. Yes, they look a little nasty in there, but all of that uh, brownish stuff cleans off very good. So I'll show you that after I wash them up tomorrow. And one last look here. Actually, I'll give you one last look once I'm done for the day here and show you how many I have harvested. Well, this is it for today. Not that I don't have a ton more apples that I could pick, but this is plenty enough for the dehydrator and I have enough other things doing tomorrow. I'm not going to get into canning or anything, so I will save the rest of the apples for another day. We are in the house at the next step of this process. So these are the original apples. You can see they're kind of brownish, blackish spotted. And that is a type of, I believe it's bacteria. I'm gonna do a separate video on that later today. I'm gonna to do some research on it and I will hopefully remember to link to it in the show notes. So what I do is I have a special sponge that I use just for fruit. I put the dirty ones over here, then I soak them in water for a little while and then I rinse them with the, or I go over them with the sponge and then they go over here to dry. And you can see as far as the stuff on the outside, there isn't a whole lot here. It's all cleaned up pretty good. There are still some spots you can see right there. And those will get cut out in the next process after these things are dried. I'll show you that in a moment. Apples are all dried. I had another, actually I had this towel on top of it. So it dried off and then I let them air dry for a little bit longer while I had lunch. So what I'm doing now is I am scoring and slicing these. I want the skins on because that's the healthy part of this. And the core and any bad pieces as I'm going through go here. That will go out to the compost pile. So just toss that in there. And then I pull the individual apples out. I do a quick inspection on them and then I put them in the water here. The water is actually salt water. A little more detail on the water here. So as I said, one tablespoon of water, two, six cups, so three of these, six cups total. And then I grab a spoon and I stir it up. And the whole reason for the salt water is to prevent them from browning. So yeah, you can see a couple scraps in here. If you let air get to it, the uh, get to the fruit, it oxidizes and it turns brown. So the salt actually helps that, helps prevent that and keeps it looking nice until it's actually dehydrated. So from the salt water, it goes into the colander. The colander will take and rinse the apples off. And that prevents them from having a kind of a salty taste when they're done. So that way you just get a sweet apple taste. Shake off as much water as we can. And then we go into another towel over here. Spread it out a little. And from here, cover it up. Just pat it dry real quick. Doesn't have to be super dry. It just helps the dehydrating part a little bit. Switch over here. We come over and we grab a clean dehydrating tray and from there we lay them out and I could dump them but it just I can get more on a tray if I do it easy nah, in order like this okay still a couple apples left there but this tray is full so let me see if I can 
pick this bad boy up one-handed. We're gonna take it out to the dehydrator because we're still kind of warm and humid out. I am, I keep the dehydrator outside here. Which, that way I'm not fighting with the air conditioner, having the dehydrator on and the air conditioner trying to fight it and the humidity does, might make us run a little bit longer out here, but not a whole heck of a lot. Put it on the top tray here. And our setting is 135, and I'm gonna go probably about 10 hours because just from previous experience, I know it's gonna be at least eight up to 12 hours. So at 10 hours, I'll check it. And what I'm looking for is crispy, leathery, but crispy. So I'm looking for apple chips. And I could take them out a little bit earlier where it's a little more mushy in the center, but they won't last quite as long. So let's let it sit for a little while and we'll see what it looks like when we pull them out. So it's only been about eight hours. It's dark, it's raining out, and I don't feel like being up too late. It's uh, late in the evening. These are softer than what they sh would be for chips, but they will preserve just fine. We'll just have to eat these first go around so they're a little more a little more leathery and soft than what I like. They they actually taste a little sweeter. So I did dry some out earlier, what, last week I guess it was, and they are crisp like chips. So I'll just make sure that we eat these first. So what we are gonna do here is lift them up and I have a jar, mason jar here. And I'm just gonna scoop these up and put them in. And it's, I believe that it was two or two and a half trays filled one of these mason jars. So I'm gonna end up with quite a few of them. And yeah, this will be about half. So it's gonna be right around two. He's gonna fill this up. And then I will just simply put the lid on and that's just keep bugs and uh, from time to time we get mice in here and we would just munch on these as time goes along. I did end up with all trays full here. So we have a lot of chips to go. Actually, this is one that I didn't right here. This one wasn't quite full. All the others were filled right up and everything looks good. I am actually getting hungry looking at these things. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in and have a wonderful day.